Mark, good. Uh, Cahill, look, I too am delighted to get the opportunity to ask some questions this morning. Why, Minister, or Ministers, and Harry, will we not accept the antigen testing here when Europe have, have acknowledged it and it's acceptable everywhere? And I had a family who travelled uh, a mother and father and four kids, grandkids, to come home to see their, their dad who was dying in palliative care and the night before last and were, were turned back at the port because they had the NHS. Uh, tests, uh, not the PCR. Why can't we, like, where's the humanity in that? Turning him back and to travel back again whenever they get the next ferry back and trying to get back again when they get antigen tests and the costs associated. Why won't we accept uh, the antigen tests and why won't we accept uh, the, the, the NH NHS tests who seem to be doing an awful lot better with the vaccination and everything else than where we are? That's one question. Kesh Teller is, is uh, Minister, um, about St. Bridget's Hospital, Carrick and Shore. You still have refused, and I keep raising it because that's my duty for the people there, and the people in West Waterford or East Waterford too, Minister Butler, uh, to have that hospital uh, returned to a district hospital with four palliative care beds, and excellent staff and teams there working, and fundraising and buying from the community. And it goes in the middle of a pandemic. After Minister Donnelly assuring. Uh, council here in Brock there, uh, in the presence of Deputy Cahill, that would return after the pandemic. And you've all the excuses in the world about HICWA rolled out. It was a, uh, a fly-by-night job and tricky the loop job, just to cut the people talking about diabe diabetic centre. Why, Minister, also have you uh, maternity hospitals? I have tried, and I want to acknowledge South Tipperary General um, a Maternity Hospital. All my eight kids were born there, my eight grandkids, and one uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, number nine. Excellent staff, and excellent antenatal and prenatal, and all those areas we've been through. But why is the management blockage in different hospitals that they won't allow partners in, or husbands, or dads, or even a sibling to go in with a, an expectant mother? And you know, to get obviously uh, good news, but it can be bad news sometimes too. But why I've written a number of times to the manager of the hospital and just told me that they'd examined it and the statement made by the minister and the department that they were lifting the, or easing the restrictions. And there's still no movement. I can't get any replies now since this um, cyber attack, nothing at all. But that's not, ever before with a cyber attack, I have never, Minister, and I repeat it again, got an answer from you to end cash to on. I keep asking here, I went to the government, and I'd be raised at business meeting again today, and the government whip has tried, and the town call has tried. Never a written answer from you on anything. I use my time here to ask the questions, there's limited enough time, I expect to get an answer. You have plenty of officials with you to take the questions and answers and get an answer. Never in the eight months that you're in, uh, more than eight months, nearly 12 months now, have I got an answer for any question that I put to you here in the floor of this house. That is an insult and a disrespect to the electorate in Tipperary who for the time being have elected me and asked me to do a job for them and I do, I do my best to ask the questions when try to get answers. You're, it's, a, it's an application of your power, of your Thank of you, your Deputy McGrath. Your, your time has expired, so I, I'd ask the Minister to reply in writing.